morning European traders Bank of Japan sticking with the script last night and we are privateer FX to give you the rundown for the European Open let's take a quick look at Bitcoin since that thing is dancing big move down 14,000 yesterday now we're doing a little consolidation there's some juice there 16.1 to 17.1 still almost a 10% move there look at that average true range $1,800 uh, this is a break trade down below 14,000 um, also a break trade up through 20,000 forget about valuations forget about manias we're just trading Bitcoin now we don't own it it's just something that moves that we can make money off of sermon over on Bitcoin uh, let's go to sterling we have this obvious very important level 133 the figure I have a funny feeling this trades today I don't know why uh, could be some bad news out of Brexit I glanced through the headlines this morning and just like every morning there seems to be something stupid about Theresa May and she's firing people and there's trouble and so that could be your story technically it's very important sort of horizontal support break through that should be should be some downside money to be made there so we're not uh, jumping out on a limb and getting short here in the 60s, but if we get closer down there and this level looks like it's going to attract, uh, we'll be short. Euro did what we asked yesterday, broke 63, went up to 01. There's some money to be made there. Same with Euro Yen. Pretty textbook kind of a day. 50 break was clean, 45 the low since, three times 45 the low, so if, so this actually might be a little bit of a lever today, 134.45, any stale longs who were long yesterday and didn't take profit will have their stops there. I'm not suggesting this is going to collapse, but I am suggesting that there's probably pips between 45 and 25 to capture there. What else? Dollar yen dead is a dodo. BOJ did nothing. Upbeat on the economy, but no change in quantitative easing. That said, dollar yen can't get through 45. We now have sort of a triple top on the hourlies. This is um, not super clear on the four hourlies, but you can see the as normal with every big figure in dollar yen, there'll be Japanese offers at 50. Maybe through 50 will yield if bonds collapse, but I don't really know. The bigger point is going to be 73 here. Got to keep on keep an eye on keep your eye on bonds. <coughs> see how that goes equities negative day in a sort of moderated way the public perception of this tax cut is awful and this tax cut is going to lead to selling on the first week of the year I think a lot of people who are thinking like I am are trying to get the early bird special shorts in could lead to trouble obviously if uh, people without deep pockets get short here in the 80s their stop has to be above 98 so I don't discount a little move to 05 but it doesn't look too good this take the four hourly picture You might want to sell some of that through 79 on a very uh, 
risk controlled trade, maybe with an 85 stop. But the equities don't look that good. Anything else out there worth looking at? Dollar Turkey. Nice little chart point. 380.64. Only for the brave Dollar Turkey. Better off trading Bitcoin than Dollar Turkey. That stuff is uh, ridiculous. Oh, I guess we should look at Euro Norway because we almost broke 10. I don't trade this, but it's pretty interesting. Big round number up there, 998.90, the high. Big psychological level. Let's see, when was the last time it broke 10? Ooh Been a while. 2009. 10, 12, 54. Of course, uh, the whole Bloomberg, the biggest housing bubble in the world, is Norway. It's probably adding a little bit of this, but I'm not really buying it. The Norwegians uh, and their whole society and the structure of their society and their wealth fund and their natural resources and they'll be just fine. <laughs> so. Anyway, my two cents on Norway uh, for someone who's never been there. I'll leave it with that. Privateer FX over and out. I will see you at the New York Open. Ciao.